Well, lucky last, Brian. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. So what made you decide to come out tonight? Um, obviously, seeing this fantastic documentary, um, it looks absolutely amazing and uh, it, looks, it looks visually stunning. Um, a, a love story centered around volcanoes and everything and the danger of them. Um, I find that really fascinating. Because you obviously get invited to a lot of things and you've seen a lot of content, as I'm sure you are. I'm sure he drags you a lot, you know, to a lot of these things. So what is it that you're kind of looking for when you're seeing something for the first time? Obviously, I'm looking for a good story. Story is key. And having something, a storyline to really drag the viewer in um, um, to get the emotional aspects of it. But also visually exciting um, content is very exciting as well. And I, I think that one without the other isn't as powerful, but this looks like it's going to have a combination of both of them. And I think that's what's going to make it really fun to watch. I love that. And I think a lot of people look at your career and, you know, you are doing well and you've got, I hear, a new TV series that just got picked up. So how did it all begin for you? Did it kind of happen overnight or was it something that you've been working towards and, and are still working towards to getting to where you want to go? It's, it's something that I'm always working towards. It, it, nothing happens overnight and everything always takes longer than, than you would think that it would take. Um, and, you know, even, even for us locking down certain cast for certain projects, they take an extremely long time and then you can't even announce the projects until a press release comes out. So I would love to be able to tell you the names of the projects and who we have involved, but unfortunately we can't say that yet because the press release isn't out for them yet. But if there was a name, and you might already be working with them, if you could choose anyone in the world, who, who would you want to work with and why? Oh my goodness, there are so many fantastic actors out there. I would love to work with Harvey Keitel, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, which I don't think will happen because he retired, um, which uh, hopefully he'll come out of retirement and do some more projects. Um, uh, Charlize Theron, I mean, the, the list goes on and on of, of fantastic actors and actresses that, I, that would be amazing to work with. That's awesome. And just before we do go, oh, what advice do you have for people that don't know how to get started and really want to get into the industry but don't even know where to begin? What, what advice do you have for those people? I would say to start off with just creating content, getting out there, using their cell phones. Um, I mean, the iPhone has a 4K camera on it and the Samsung has like a 6K camera or 8K. And so, um, you know, get out there and create content with your friends or by yourself or whatever and just get out there and get people to watch your stuff. Um, and just keep honing your, your craft because you're not going to become a great filmmaker overnight. Um, and also write scripts, always do research on your films. You know, uh, for me personally, I'm watching so many films um, every week, it is ridiculous. Just always studying new films and going back to old films that I love and directors that I love um, and finding out why those are such fantastic films and why other films aren't so fantastic.